So welcome back to my channel. This week I decided to try and recreate this palette that I've seen floating around on Facebook this week. I really love the color selection in it. I didn't love the quoted price though. It was quoted as being a $300 US palette to put together. It is set up for an art toolkit. I'm not setting up my palette for an art toolkit. I don't own one and so it doesn't make sense for me to only choose paints that would work in a palette like that. So I am just going to try and recreate it with colors in my palette. Some are going to be tubes, some are going to be pans, and we're going to get into it. I have a feeling it's still going to be a pretty expensive palette if you have to buy every single color from scratch to build a palette, but I think I can get it under $150. I'm also going to switch out a few of the colors. While I like her color selection, there are a few colors where I find that there are other colors that are more versatile. So, let's get into creating this palette. So, I switched out Da Vinci French Ultramarine for Daniel Smith French Ultramarine. I don't even have the Da Vinci version. It's quite hard to get in Canada. I switched out the Da Vinci Cerulean Genuine for the Daniel Smith Cerulean Blue Chromium, which is my favorite Cerulean Blue, and so when I was putting together this palette I knew that it was the switch I was going to make. For the Cadmium Red Deep, I decided on the Roman Small Cadmium Red Deep instead of the Da Vinci Cadmium Red Deep. The Roman Small Cadmium Red Deep is really the only Cadmium Red I like in my palette. I've got several. It's the only one I really reached for, and so it was the Cadmium Red that I knew I was going to use. I find that in a palette as large as I have, there are definitely colors that I know I'm going to reach for, and it's one of them. I decided to use Cosmic Creations Magenta instead of Daniel Smith Quinacridone Lilac. They're both the same pigment number, and I also decided on Cosmic Creations Buttercup instead of Windsor Noon Naples Yellow. I went with Misty Morning by Roman Small instead of Daniel Smith Lavender. It's not an exact match, but it's more the color that I wanted. I find that I don't use colors like lavender. I have many in my palette from a variety of brands, and I never reach for them. Whereas I use Misty Morning quite often when during skies and clouds. And so it was just, if I needed a piece, or a color for a piece, it was the color I was going to reach for. The original palette also included Galaxy Pink, which I have in my palette, but I really don't enjoy using. And so I made the decision to switch it out with a pink that is sort of similar in color, but I enjoy more, and I chose Potter's Pink. I've done an entire video on why Potter's Pink is always in my palette that I'll link above. I did keep Holbein Mineral Violet, it's a great purple, it's one of my favorite purples actually, and so I was quite happy to keep it in my palette as it was also part of the original. The original Indian Throne Blue was a Sennelier color, and I don't actually have any Sennelier paints. So I ended up going with the Roman Small Indian Throne Blue. I have the Daniel Smith version as well, but I prefer the Roman Small version. For my Indigo, I went with the Daniel Smith version, 
and in the palette it was the Sennelier Indigo. I switched Da Vinci Thalo Turquoise out with Daniel Smith Cobalt Teal Blue. I love this color. It's been in my palette for almost three years and I will buy a new tube as soon as my tube runs out. I think it will probably be in my palette for forever. Cobalt Green Deep by Sennelier. I ended up switching with Cosmic Creations Pine. I don't have a whole bunch of Cobalt Greens in my palette, but I do enjoy Pine, so it was a pretty easy swap to make, and based on swatches they look pretty similar in color. I decided to leave Jane's Grey as the Grey, mostly because I genuinely enjoy Jane's Grey. I've had it in my palette for a few months, it took a while to track down a tube of it, but I do really like the colour, and so when I saw that it was the Grey in the palette, I just decided to keep it. I decided to switch out Earth Friendly Brown Oxide by Daniel Smith with Nibs Pens and Inks Horse Chestnut. It's just a brown I prefer, plus I don't actually have the Earth Friendly Brown Oxide, but after looking at swatches, the Nibs Horse Chestnut's pretty similar, and I know from experience that I genuinely enjoy using the Nibs color. Transparent Red Oxide by American Journey was a bit of a hard one for me. In the end, I decided on Daniel Smith Lunar Earth. They look pretty similar in swatches. I don't think they're the same pigment number, but I do really like it. And then I decided on Roman Small Cypress Raw Umber Deep instead of Daniel Smith Raw Sienna. I don't use Raw Siennas all that often. And seeing as this is my version of the palette, I decided to go with a brown I actually use. And in this case, the Cypress Raw Ember Deep is definitely my preferred brown. If you've seen any of my mixing palette videos or the multiple um, mixing granulating grays video, you'll know that Cypress Raw Ember Deep is almost always the brown I reach for for them. And so it was a must in this palette. I don't actually have a Cadmium Yellow Deep, and so I decided to go with Cause Paints Permanent Yellow Medium instead of Cadmium Yellow Deep from M. Graham. They're pretty similar in tone, though the pigments are quite different. I decided to keep Shire Yellow in the set, so that got swatched next, even though there's technically a color that goes in between the Cadmium Yellow and Shire Yellow, I decided that I was going to put Shire Yellow by Schmincke in first, and then I was going to figure out what I was going to put in between them. I was sort of a bit stuck. I did technically have a color that was the right pigment, but it's not a brand I'm buying from any longer, and so I was in a bit of an ethical dilemma in this moment. In the end though, I did find a color that I really liked to fill the spot. I ended up switching out Green Gold by Da Vinci for Cosmic Creations P, which is one of my favorite light green colors. It appeared in my Spring Summer Mixing Palette video. And then I decided to go back in and darken the Schmincke Shire Yellow swatch. I find that the super granulating colors sometimes swatch weird, and so it needed a bit of a fix. I hope you enjoyed watching this in-depth of what I switched out with what. Let me know if you want to see me do a mixing palette with all of them. It would be an 
absolutely massive palette, but I think it might look really cool. Uh, it would definitely be a lot of work, but I think I'm up for the challenge.